Usually, for the navigation task, these sensors are used. LIDAR is used for robot localization using AMCL, encoders are used to calculate odometry, and IMU sensors are used in conjunction with LIDAR to enhance localization accuracy. But in this tutorial, we will use only an RGBD camera to do navigation. Since RGBD cameras can also be used for other tasks such as recognition or object tracking, it will be nice if we could make an autonomous robot using only one sensor. Here we have a stage with some obstacles. The walls are colored to make visual odometry performance better. Here we have a robot with RGBD camera. Now, we are going to do navigation. Since scan data obtained from RGBD camera is much narrower than that of LiDAR, robot sometimes loses its location, but if there are enough features in the environment navigation works fine. Now, let's look at the theory standing behind this. So, what is odometry? Odometry represents change of robot's position over time. In particular, it is used to estimate the current position of the robot relative to its starting location. There are several methods of how to compute odometry. The most widely used odometry in hobby robots and slow-moving indoor robots is wheel odometry. Wheel odometry is calculated by integrating wheel rotation speed over time. The accuracy of calculation is affected by slippage between the ground and the wheel. So, it is not working well on high speeds or on dusty roads, where a lot of wheel slippage occurs. The second method is visual odometry. Traditional visual odometry's visual information is obtained by the feature-based method, which extracts image feature points and tracks them in the image sequence. So, the image should be complicated enough to extract a number of features to track. This means that visual odometry will not work well when the robot is standing near a wall and its camera is facing the wall, because there will be almost no features to track. Also, if you are using visual odometry in a simulation, you should make sure that there are enough objects. The third method is visual inertial odometry. Visual inertial odometry estimates pose by fusing the visual odometry pose estimate from a monocular camera and the pose estimate from IMU. So, this method is more stable in situations when usual visual odometry will not work well. The fourth method is LiDAR inertial odometry. Fusing IMU and LiDAR makes it possible to handle featureless environments. There are several ways in coupling LiDAR and IMU data. Loosely coupled method processes data sequentially. This method is robust, but localization results are less accurate. Tightly coupled method offers improved accuracy but is less robust. The fifth method is deep inertial odometry. This is a novel method, which by applying deep learning techniques, reduces calculation errors caused by noise and drift of accelerometer in gyroscope. In this tutorial we will use visual odometry. More specifically, RGBD odometry. Let's take a brief look at RGBD odometry theory. RGBD odometry finds camera movement between two consecutive RGBD image pairs. Here is an example of RGBD odometry calculation flow. This is not the only way how it works, but most of the algorithms should work nearly the same. Firstly, features from the first RGB image are detected using the FAST algorithm. FAST stands for Features from Accelerated Segment Test. It is a corner detection method, which is used to extract feature point. This is an example image of how this algorithm works. The circles represent detected feature points. 
Next, in the subsequent RGB image, detected features are tracked using the Lucas Conaday optical flow algorithm. This algorithm assumes that the flow is constant in a local neighborhood of pixels under consideration. The algorithm solves basic optical flow equations for all the pixels in that neighborhood, by the least squares criterion. Then a 3D point cloud of the tracked, detected feature points of the latest two available RGB image with the help of their depth image, is created. As the fourth step, a consistency matrix for each pair of the consecutive point clouds is created. Here we assume that there are no moving objects in the environment. Next, we estimate the motion from the set of inlier points. The best fitting rigid transformation that outputs rotation and translation matrix between two sets of corresponding points of point clouds is found. Finally, using rotational and translational matrices, robot orientation and displacement can be calculated. There are some other things we should mention. In this tutorial, to calculate self-location we will use AMCL. AMCL requires scan data, but RGBD cameras are not publishing this data. So, we will use the depth image to laser scan package. As we can see, this is a convenient package that converts depth image to laser scan data. After this we will be able to use AMCL as usual. There are several limitations for this method. Since visual odometry trucks features on the image, it will not work well when the camera on the robot faces a wall or other thing that has little distinctive features. Also, as shown in this image, scan data obtained from RGBD camera using depth image to laser scan is much narrower than scan data obtained from LiDAR. So in the environment with little objects robot tends to lose its location easily. Now we are going to install packages required for this simulation. Here I assume that you have installed ROS2 Foxy and can build your project. Firstly, install the ROS Foxy Gazebo ROS packages. This package provides interface for using ROS with the Gazebo simulator. Next, install the Diagnostic Updater. Diagnostic Updater contains tools for easily updating diagnostics. It provides a variety of C++ utilities to assist in integrating diagnostics with our software. We have to install the LibRealSense to simulate RealSense camera in Gazebo. Go to this page. Clone the repository. Create build directory and move to it. Generate a make file using cmake command. After the make file is generated, execute make command. Finally, install the libRealSense. Install the Navigation 2 package. This package contains various packages related to navigation task. Install the Nav2 Bring Up package. It contains RAW's launch files for Nav2 robot platform Bring Up. Install the RTAB Map RAW's package. RTAB Map package contains a lot of functions related to visual navigation. Now we are ready to build our project. Download the project file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Move to the workspace directory. Copy the models folder and move it to the gazebo directory. If you already have a models folder in your gazebo directory, just copy all the files and move it to your models folder inside the gazebo directory. Now open the terminal and execute the Colkin build command. Before executing the simulation, let's see what modifications have been made compared to usual navigation simulation. Firstly, 
we modified the SDF file of the robot model. If we are using will odometry, these two lines should be set to true. But since in this simulation visual odometry is used, will odometry has been disabled. Also, we have modified the launch file. Here we define the depth image to laser scan node. Note that the topic should be remapped to name of the topic which RealSense Camera publishes. Here, RGBD odometry is defined. Here, the topic should also be modified to those which the RealSense Camera publishes. Note that if you also want to publish wheel odometry, you have to remap odometry related topics too because topic names which diff drive controller plugin publishes and RGBD odometry node publishes are the same by default. Now let's do the simulation. Firstly, execute the source command. Then launch the gazebo sim launch vopi script. Since the robot must know its initial position, use 2D pose estimate function to define initial position. Now use navigation to goal function to set goal position. Maybe this environment is too sparse, so sometimes robot loses its position, but finally it arrives to the goal.